Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Libra. So Libra, these messages could be for people who are in relationships, separation, or single. Whatever spirit puts out, that is what I will bring forth. Remember that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also Libra, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's jump right into it and see what is your love energy. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? Love messages for Libra. Okay. We'll have the Seven of Cups. Let's get some more love messages. For Libra. Oh, I have the Page of Wands. One more. I have Justice. Okay, Libra. This Page of Wands is you. I'm getting like you feeling yourself. You're fly right now. You have like a lot of attention. Like the cat's meow. Like you're getting a lot of attention from men, women. Just a lot of people wanting to take you out. Wanting to get to know you. Um, you have a lot of options. Yeah, you definitely have your pick of the litter. Like <laughs> I'm just getting like player energy but not in a bad way more of like a suave type of essence that you have right now like I know you know I have it going on yeah I feel like you really have your choice of who you want to be with and I feel like with this justice card, this is your energy. I just feel like you're very balanced. You're in a very grounded place right now. And you're able to discern. That's what I'm getting. Like you're able to discern who you really want to invest into. Um, who you really see being long term. But this is definitely for those of you who are dating. Um, also her office politics. You may have a lot of people at, at your job. Who like you, who like what they see. But yeah, I just feel like you feeling yourself. Like, you know, you look good. Like, yeah, you know, people looking at you. And it's like, yeah, you know, I know. I know I look good. <laughs> yes, yes. You can look, but don't touch type of energy. Um, let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about this. I'm in the cups. You have a lot of options. Like, you just balance. Like... Everything is good. There were a lot of cars that wanted to come out. So, yeah, it's just like just a whole bunch of people feeling you right now. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Cups. I have a tower. Oh, I feel like you're finna break some hearts. I heard like you're finna crush somebody heart, Libra, because you're getting ready to make a decision. So it's like all of these options, all of these people that like you, all of these people that you're dating, like you're finna get ready to make a choice, to make a decision when it comes to who you actually want to be with. Let's get a message for the page of wands. Yeah. I'm getting like with this one, like there can only be one. Like there can only be one. Like there's only one for you like only one person that you're really into only one person that you feel is worthy of you worthy of your attention let's get a message for the page this is definitely like those of you who are starting a new relationship and i feel like you're thinking long term when it comes to who you choose. Look at what I have. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You're thinking about investing long term. You're thinking about somebody who's going to give back to you. Somebody who's balanced. Um, Somebody who matches you. Yeah. 
someone who you connect with very well, someone you can build with, grow with, um, someone who will give back what you give to them, love, generosity, time, energy. It's like that equal give and take. For some of you, I'm looking like you and this person may be from like two different cultures, religions. But it's like you match so well. You really balance each other out. For some of you, I'm getting like unexpected. Like there may be some people who would have never expected for you and this person to be together. Like you're so opposite from each other. They would have never put you two together. Let's get a message for justice. Oh, Libra, I can't make it up. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're in it for the long haul, for the long term. You're looking for something serious. Yeah. Spirit says not a one night stand. No. You're looking for something that is going to last a lifetime. Let's get some more messages for you, Libra. Spirit, tell me more about Libra's love energy. You're looking for somebody you can build with, have a family with, build a home with. I heard like weighing your options for some of you, like you're just thinking about who will be suitable for you. All right, Libra. Oh, look at what I have. Loyalty and finances. You're looking for somebody who's stable, who's emotionally, mentally stable, balanced, who is stable in terms of um, their career, their finances. You're looking for somebody you can build with and grow with. Like you really just don't have time for games. Um, I heard explore. I feel like you're really taking your time and to make sure that you choose the right person. I heard like playing for keeps. Let's get another message. Because it's like, you're very loving. You're very giving. Like, you're, I heard like settle down. You're ready to commit. You're ready to settle down. Like, you're ready to give someone your heart. You want to make sure that you give it to the right person. What do we have here? Look at what I have. Settling an inner child in the reverse. For some of you, I feel like there's someone who is not healed. They haven't really worked on themselves. For some of you, I'm getting like the mother of your child. Like this is somebody you have a child with. Who haven't really worked on themselves. They keep on repeating the same behavior. Going through the same cycle. And it's like you're looking for someone who's opposite of that person. Let's clarify further. Spirit, tell me more about loyal. I'm also feeling like Libra, for some of you, just to be very careful. Because there's someone who may be trying to take advantage of you. Taking your kindness for a weakness. Maybe trying to use you for your money. That's what I'm getting as well. For some of you, this is the mother of your child who's trying to do this. Or the father of your child. Spirit, tell me about loyal. They see you as a quick come up. Inner child, unwanted pregnancy for someone. I have the four of cups and the eight of pentacles loyal yeah for some of you you were giving to someone who was not giving back to you like you were putting in all the work all the effort like you were carrying this person carrying this relationship and i feel like with this four of cups i heard like taking advantage like this person took advantage of you but you remain consistent you remained loyal to this individual spirit give me a message for finances Yeah, I have the four swords. So you are very financially stable. 
you're very financially stable. I feel like, you know, your finances, your money, it's not an issue for you. Um, you really don't have any worry, any care in the world. Um, you're very well off. Spirit, tell me about settling. Like, you can really take care of yourself. You can hold your own. You can be a provider, provide for your family. Yeah, I have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, in the reverse. This is definitely a past relationship. This is somebody that you walked away from. I feel like this person taught you a lot. A lot about yourself, about self-love, about not settling, not holding on to a situation. For some of you, you held on to a situation because you had a child with this person. Again, I heard like unwanted. So yeah, I feel like not that you don't want your child, but it wasn't something that was planned. Um... Like, if you had to do it over again, you would have chosen someone else to have your child with. Let's get a message for inner child. Like, you would have made a different decision when it came to this relationship. Wow, that popped out. Look at what we have. The Seven of Pentacles. So, I feel like waiting around... Um, I feel like this person, I'm definitely get, getting like a split household. So this child definitely splits um, their time between you and the mom. There's some co-parenting. I feel like this child spends more time with one parent than the other parent. I'm getting like with these two of pentacles, like the weekend. So maybe like on Saturdays and Sundays, you get to see this child or the other parent gets to see this child. But the time is definitely split, but there's just one parent that has this child more than the other parent. Yeah, five pentacles, like five days a week, while the other parent may have this child only two days a week. That's what I'm getting. Um... I feel like as this child like becomes older, because I'm looking at um this pot here. I feel like this child may be more emotionally connected to the parent that they only see like on the weekends or only like twice a week. I feel like this child um will have a better relationship with that parent versus the parent who they spend most of their time with. I feel like there's going to be some friction as this child gets older. I'm getting like a teenager. So there may be like some friction with the parent that they spend most of their time with. And this child, I heard like loving. Yeah, they just really want to nurture this relationship more with the other parent. Like they're just closer to the other parent that they really don't see as often. But they really have a great relationship. I'm going to get some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the higher fun. I feel like with this Hierophant, for some of you, this person may be a Taurus. Or your child may be a Taurus. Um, yeah, this person is very authoritative. Um, they're more like a dictator. Yeah, this is the child. I just feel like this child really does not connect well with the parent they spend most the majority of their time with. They're more connected with the parents who they don't see as often, you know, um, maybe just on weekends with these two pentacles twice a week or twice a month. But yeah, there's something about two. So it's either like the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays or like um, twice a month. I'm also getting like during the summertime as well. But yeah, they're just more emotionally connected to the other parent. Let's pull some final messages. I heard like cleaning your room. Yeah, this parent is more like authoritative. Um, 
very stern. I feel like this pan is just like very unhappy as well. Very unhappy. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so I have the Hermit, I have the Sun, and I have the Seven of Swords. Okay, Libra, straight out the gate. You are so happy. <laughs> when I say you are happy, you're happy. You're so happy that you finally saw who this person was, like that the truth was revealed. You're just so happy that like you just finally see, like you recognize like who this person was and that they were not right for you. Um, I just feel like with this hermit, like you were able like to just walk away <laughs> and be by yourself and really reflect and grow and heal, you know, and mature. It's like when you know better, you do better. That's why you're really taking your time when it comes to this next relationship and choosing someone who's really on your level, who's going to invest the way that you want them to invest. Because like you have really learned a lot from this past relationship. You learned about what you really want, what you don't want, recognize your worth, your value. And it's like you're so happy now that you can just see like you can see past the nonsense, you know, see past the games. It's like you just accept it for what it is. Like I heard like reality. Yeah. It's like you have removed the rose color glasses completely and you just see people for who they are. You accept them for who they are. And it's like you don't try to change them. Um, you don't try to paint a different picture. It's like you just accept the truth for what it is. And it's like with the sun, it's like you're just in a better place because of it. You're just more happier. You're more grounded. You're more stable. Yeah, Libra, you, overall, you're just in a very good energy. You're just in a very good energy. You've really learned a lot. You've grown. You've changed. And it's like you really take your time. You really um, get to know people before you invest in them. So, Libra, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone, stay blessed.